In this video, we're going to take a look at how to troubleshoot smoothing issues. All right, so whenever we apply a smoothing algorithm to our model, uh, typically on the first time, we might notice some issues um, just at the default level. And in this case, in the last lesson, we talked about this point right here, where it has a high valence. And high valence means that there are multiple edges, okay, and it's the amount of edges that go into a single point. And for me, high valence is anything over six. Um, six is the max that I like to, uh, of edges that I like to have come into a single point. Otherwise, it creates some smoothing issues like this. Uh, the lower, the better in, in my case. Um, usually, four is that sweet spot, but we can't always get around that. So how do we get rid of this? How do we lower that to six? Well, in this case, all we have to do is remove two of the edges. So this can be done pretty easily. Let's go ahead and turn off open subdiv. And let's go to edit poly and vertex mode. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and actually let me show the cage so I can see that. So it will also show me my vertices. And with this cage, I'm going to go ahead and select these vertices. And I'm going to right click and cut from this vertex all the way across to this one. Then I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to edge mode by hitting 2 on the keyboard and select these two edges and hit control backspace. That will remove the two vertices or the two edges that go into that point. But there's still a problem. We have these end gons now and what I need to do is go ahead and go to vertex mode and right click and cut from this vertex to here. Now I know that this is not going to work because I noticed that the preview wasn't there and it created this really odd cut and what happened is 3ds Max just got a little confused on where we were actually trying to cut to. In instances like this what I typically do is uh, control Z to get back to where I need to be and then I'll actually cut from the edge that I'm cutting through to the vertices. So you'll notice here it cuts just fine so I'm going to go from this vertex to here and then let's do that all the way around. Notice we have the same type of thing here. So we're going to go from this point to this point. And then we're going to remove those edges. Control backspace. Let's go to vertex mode. And then cut from the segment to the middle here. And then to this side. Perfect. Now that I've done that, there is one little thing that I've noticed here. So I've got this little hole right here. And I need to take care of that. So to cap that, the first thing that I'm going to need to do is hit 3 on the keyboard and select that border. Now one thing that I'm noticing is that the border is not necessarily the triangle. It looks like it's going up into here as well. What that indicates is that this vertex, there's actually two there and they're just overlapping one another. So I'm going to hit 1 on the keyboard, select around that vertex and you'll see here it says two vertices selected. Simply hit weld and you'll notice it's now showing me the vertex ID. So now I know that there's just a single vertex. Let me hit 3 on the keyboard again, select that border. Notice it's just that triangle. And then we'll just simply hit cap. Perfect. Let's do it on the other side. We don't need to do anything on the back here. That was great. So let's go over here. Let's go to vertex mode. We're going to right click and cut from here to here. And then we're going to select those edges, control backspace. And then we're going to right click and cut again from the center of the segment to those vertices that we initially wanted to cut to. And there we go. Let's close the hole here because we have the same thing. So select those vertices. Notice two vertices are selected. Let's simply hit weld and then hit three to go to border mode. Select around that and then cap. Now if you don't have that issue, don't worry about it. Um, if if it's a quad, perfect. Now, there is one thing that about this edge, though, that I'm looking at. If I select that loop, it goes all the way around, and it goes right through the middle of that, creating the triangle. And it, it, it terminates at this point. And I don't actually need that edge. It doesn't actually change anything about the model, so I'm just going to remove it by hitting Control Backspace. The model's integrity is exactly the same, 
technically the only thing that I've done is just modify the mesh and quadrified it and made it a little bit cleaner. So now that we've done that, let's turn off edge mode and go back to open subdiv and turn that on. And if we hit F4, you'll notice that that pinching is now gone. So it's nice and smooth. Things are looking good. Now at this point, what I would want to do is go ahead and start the process of adding details and just modifying the mesh and uh, looking at the overall shape, making sure that the, uh, the drone is exactly the way that I want it to be, and starting to add those details in to get it to its final look. So let's go ahead and move on into our next video, and what we'll do is we'll start looking at some of the different proportions. One thing that I'm noticing here is that the arms kind of come out, and then they look like they poke in a little bit. And what I want to do is just make that a nice smooth curve on these lines. So we'll talk about modifying that, getting the overall shape, and then adding details next.